Oh, heck, you're back. What's going on guys? My name is Timothy and today we're gonna to be going to tour some mobile homes in Pennsylvania. So uh, it's about an hour and a half drive. Figured we'll start the video a little different this time. I'm excited. Guys, so today I'm up here in Pennsylvania. I'm actually in Hamburg at Stony Brook Home Sales. And I'm gonna check out a couple modular homes. So a little windy, this is the Edgewood. It is a three bedroom, two bath modular home and it is by Pleasant Valley Modular Homes. So I'll get into a little bit more detail once we get inside. Just give you a little overview of the outside real quick and then we'll hop in there. All right, so when you first come in the home, this is what you're greeted with. Say hello to that beautiful fireplace, which is a real wood burning fireplace. And I mean, it, it, I must be on like a lucky streak or something because this is the third one, third home, not here at this location, but third home here within the last week that I've walked into that actually has a real wood burning fireplace. So that's pretty cool. Right, now, as I pan around and you check out the living room, I'll let you know that the list that they provided me as far as with the price and the upgrades and the features that are in this home, all that stuff will be up on mobilehometrends.com, which is our website. I'll leave a link for that in the description. So after you see the tour, feel free to go check that out because I do give the base price and the as toured price on most of the homes at the end. But I know a lot of people wanna know what the difference is and that's a good place for you to go find the difference as far as what is upgraded in this home. So you're walking into your dining space right here. You have a nice sliding glass door in the back. And then you can kind of get a glimpse of the kitchen. Now there's one thing I like about this kitchen and I'll go ahead and show it to you and then we'll work our way back through as far as touring. But it swings all the way around so it's like a walkthrough kitchen, which is nice. You can enter it from a whole bunch of different sides. So on the wall with the fireplace side, you have your stove. And then you above that, you have your microwave. And then some cabinets, a whole bunch of cabinets in this home. Look at all these cabinets. For days, they just kind of wrap around. Really pretty home. I've actually, man, this is the third place I've been to today looking for some homes. And the first place I went to, I've passed by before and me and Jen have always been like, yeah, we gotta get over there, we gotta get over there. But I'm gonna tell you what, some of these places are so stingy with their prices, I wouldn't wanna show them to you in the first place. So, but luckily I did a little bit of research on the fly and. I found this place after leaving one of the others, which I did film some homes at the second place I went to today. So that was nice. And then this great big refrigerator. Huge. And then on the bottom, you got your freezer. That's some fanciness. Fanciness. All right. I'll also put this up at the end, but if you want to kind of pause it here, check this out. This is the floor plan of this home. And then again, when I go to start talking about things at the end, I'll show those, I'll show it to you again. And then, like I said, it'll also be over at the mobilehometrends.com. So double doors into your furnace and hot water heater. And then right behind that, on this side of the hallway, you have a little closet. So now I didn't see a pantry. I mean, I guess that 
little set of cabinets right there could be your pantry, but no like full walk-in pantry. And then you have your utility room, which has washer dryer hookups. And you might be able to get like a small little mini freezer over there. I don't know. That vent might have to be moved if they do that. If not, I'm sure you can figure something out. Or well, they got a little plug over here. You might be able to finagle something if it doesn't get in the way of the doors. So, all right. Go ahead and work our way to the back bedrooms. And then we'll go look at that master bedroom as always. So in the middle of the hallway, you have access to your attic. And then right next to that, kind of see where it lays from the living room. You got a little closet. Then you have three rooms here, two bedrooms and one bathroom. Got your single vanity. And then your shower tub combo with the window. And then you have a medicine cabinet behind your mirror. So that's pretty nifty. And across the hall, we'll go ahead and go into this bedroom. And I'll make sure to leave everything as far as sizes and dimensions of these rooms as we walk into them. But let me know what you think about this. I've, I've been going and touring a little bit more modular homes. I haven't forgotten the manufacturers. I still have a whole heap of them coming. And I actually, I toured my first single wide the other day. So I'm excited to kind of put that up on the channel. Now this has a neat little door going into the bedroom. If this is a bedroom, I guess you could probably use this for like a, a studio or something, a little office. If that's something that you were into for all of you that are working from home, like myself. Kind of, I say I work from home, but I feel like here lately I've been on the road. It's been fun though. I enjoy every minute of it. All right, let's walk back through here and check out this fireplace again. Ooh. Very nice. All right, into the master bedroom, which is really big. And then you got a closet right here directly in the master bedroom. Not real big, but then you also have a closet right here in your bathroom as well. Your toilet. And then your second closet If you had some more clothes, I guess you and your significant other will have to paper, rock, scissors. And decide who gets it. And then your shower. No tub, but there are benches on either side if that's something that you're into. Right, so this is the Edgewood. It's by Pleasant Valley Homes. It is a modular homes, three bedroom, two bath. Very beautiful, I love Love, love, love that fireplace. I think it looks very nice. Base price on this home is $131,000. Not too bad, not too bad. And then as you've seen it, as we've toured it, it's $167,500. So you got about $36,000 in upgrades in this home. Like I said, I'll make sure to leave all of that stuff as including the layout, the upgrade sheet, all the information that you need and the link for Stony Brook down in the description, uh, the link, for all this other information will be down there as well. You can go visit 
mobilehometrends.com slash whatever the forum post might be for this one. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this tour. And as always, my name's Timothy, and I'll see you in the next one.